Even if you haven't heard of Brabus Marine, you get the feeling just by looking at this boat with its stealthy grey gel coat that they're ready to take luxury boating and flip it on its head. This boat is both bold and luxurious and comes fitted with the best of the best. And if you really want to stand out, is there any other choice? I'm here with Pete Rones from E Yachts and we're sitting on the fantastic Brabus Shadow 900 XC. Peter, what makes the Brabus line really stand out? Well, Brabus over Axapa, obviously it's got the same design of hull, but it's the attention to detail everywhere you go on the boat. As you can see here, right through from carbon to, to handholds, right through the whole boat, whether it's tinted windows, the dash, the interactive wheel, there's a lot of stuff on the boat that is all standard. So really when we're selling one of these boats, you're probably gonna choose your layout, choose your color of your upholstery and choose the color of the hull, which is all standard. So you're not paying for anything more. So the price you see, the tag price, is generally the same price, drive away. In this case, the people buying them are gonna be people who wanna do more offshore stuff, whether they're gonna do diving or uh, just take it to the next level. Do you notice a significant difference in the performance between a standard Axapar and the Brabus line of boats? So this boat will do 60 knots and you do notice how stiff the boat is when you're driving. I mean, we turn corners at 50, 50 to 55 knots, which you probably won't do in most boats, but it just feels stiff, nothing moves, nothing creaks, and it's just got a fantastic feel, the same as probably a Brabus G-Wagon. How do you think so far Brabus has been received in the Australian market? Well, this is the first one. This is Hull One. So this boat basically was going to a uh, Khan boat show and uh, we grabbed it and we've sold one off it already. And then the one after that will be a Suntop. So we've had a pretty good start considering this boat only just arrived. Um, again, we're not expecting to sell, you know, tens of them, but we'll sell a few a year. And um, it, it is definitely a niche product that, that people at the moment actually love. You know, they love the feel and the style and, and they feel like they're buying something, you know, at the top of the, uh, you know, the, the top of the range for a 37 footer. This boat combines Finnish boat building innovation with German design excellence. And it's clear that others think so as well. This boat has already won a Red Dot Award. Established in 1955, the awards honour excellence in design across multiple facets. Inside the cabin itself, it's quite a spacious affair. There's room in here comfortably for seven people. You've got two helm seats and this large L-shaped lounge at the rear with a table in front. Very comfortable place to sit down and get out of the weather. Overhead, a lot of light comes in courtesy of an electric sunroof. But if I was going to say one thing about this whole area, I would say the black leather upholstery is going to get very hot in the sun. A single berth located at the bow, accommodating two, is both luxuriously appointed and innovative. But it's what Brabus does that really set the Shadow 900 XC apart from other 37 footers. I mean, look at this quilted stitching and this leather is so soft, it has to be felt to be believed. And up front you've got twin gullwing doors which really amplify the airflow through the front cabin. None of this is what you would expect on a 37 foot boat. The Brabus mark is on everything. A little B here, quilted stitching there, and of course all the fittings are black. A custom design element you will not find anywhere else. But if you think that all Brabus do is take a standard axe apart and make it look fancy, think again. Engineering is at the core of what they do. The Brabus Shadow 900 XC rides on the axe apart 37 cabin hull, but that's where the similarities end. Inside the cabin though, it's incredibly smooth and quiet as well. It's blindingly quick, particularly for a boat of this size, to be able to accommodate twin 450 horsepower V8 Mercury racing engines. And that's quite a few ponies to have on the back of your boat. Top speed of 60 knots or 112 kilometers an hour. And that'll get you from A to B in very short order. Axapar have already established themselves as a driver's boat, a boat that really needs to be driven properly. But have Brabus made it better? Well, I think so. This thing is supremely quiet. I'm surrounded by incredible luxury. 
and not to mention the agility and performance that this boat has with twin 450 horsepower engines has to be seen to be believed. To go along with all that horsepower, Brabus have completely redesigned the dashboard. There's a lot of glass here, quite reflective, but you can read the screens easily. Twin 12-inch Simrad screens come standard, running a Brabus interface. But what I really like about the driving position is the steering wheel. They've upgraded that to have all of the controls for the music, your bow thruster and your trim settings at your fingertips. No more reaching on the dash, trying to press a button while you're bouncing over waves. This is truly a complete package. Performance, handling, luxury, and all the bits and pieces that you could ever want on a boat. In fact, the only things you need to consider are whether you want an air conditioner, or a wet bar, or a cabin down the back. The Axa Pars have been red hot in Australia, and Brabus have taken what is already a very good boat and made it exceptionally better. Everything that you want in a boat is on board standard giving you the ultimate in luxury, sophistication and performance as well. And with all that on board, you're certainly going to stand out from the rest of the crowd. I'm Dom Wiseman for Club Marine TV. Catch you on the next episode.